got a couple of items here that we're going to put through. But all I need to do is open the actual the door and slide these into the railing system inside. And the same, I've got some asparagus spears and some broccoli tops as well. Now, one important thing to um, remember when cooking with this um, the high-speed steamer is that it doesn't matter if I put one stem of broccoli in there or asparagus or I put three gastronomes worth so we could have you know over 200 stems of broccoli in there it's the same cook time and the same results okay so for both of these we just do them for 16 seconds so the process that I go through is I just shut the door and just hold it there so I've still got the gap here I make sure that I'm on one bar of pressure I look at the temp and then I look at the time all I need to adjust is my time. I know these take 16 seconds, so I just adjust, adjust down to 16 seconds, and then I press the start button. As you can see, I kept the door slightly open, and then I pull down the handle to close the door. The reason that I do leave it slightly open is just to let any cold air out of the cavity, and it just speeds the process up completely. So what's happening now is this is getting to a bar of pressure. Once it gets to a bar of pressure, the time here will start elapsing and counting down. Once we get to zero, there'll be some lines that come up on this screen here, we call our raindrop effect. And all that's showing is that the actual high-speed steamer is depressurizing. Through this process, we'll get a little click come through here, which is just basically a safety catch to stop the door being opened. Under a bar of pressure, this door won't open in a way. But as it comes down, it's just a safety device to stop it being opened early. So you can see the time's elapsing now. Once this stops, the raindrop effect comes up, so it's depressurizing now. The catch will revert back in in a second, and we'll get a beep, and that's the process finished. The benefit from this, as we spoke about on the introduction, is that the vegetable retains all its flavor and natural color as well. So I've actually kept a little bit of raw broccoli that we can compare the two to it next to it. So the beat went off, all I do then is release the handle back up, let the air cut the steam come out, open the door, take the product out. And as you can see how bright and green that is. So if I move out the prawns as well, and the prawns stay still nice and plump, beautiful pink colour. Again, one of the main beauties of using this piece of equipment is that it doesn't matter quantity wise it's still the same cook time and still the same results okay so we've got the raw piece here yeah. and the cooked piece there 